Hello, I am Sergeant First Class Kenneth Rose. Welcome to Shooter's Corner. Hello, I'm Sergeant Dunphy with the United States Army Marksmanship Unit. Today we're going to talk about pit operations. Here we have our pit can that has our pit supplies in it. You have black and white pasters, 3 inch and 5 inch shot spotters, and orange value markers along with engineer tape to secure the target in the frame. Next we're going to have a demonstration to show you how these pit supplies work. When securing the target in the frame, always use a bow knot to tie the target in. Do not use a square knot as that will make it very difficult to remove the target at the end of the day. Next we're going to talk about some of the commands you're going to hear while you're in the pit. Sergeant Bud is going to demonstrate pit operations. On the command, stand by your targets. All competitors will move to their assigned target point and await further instruction. On the command, targets down. All competitors will pull the targets into the pit and await further instruction. On the command, targets up. All targets run into the air together. It is very important that all targets run up and down together because time does not start until the last target is in the air. For all competitors to have an equal opportunity to engage their targets, all targets must run up and down together as one. On the command, targets half-mast. The targets are pulled so that half the target is visible to the line. This tells the chief line officer and the chief pit officer that the pits are ready for the next stage of fire. Next, we're going to talk about slow fire scoring procedures. The value marker is used to indicate the value of the shot on the target. The X is marked by the value marker being inserted at the 3 o'clock position. A 10 is bottom right, 9 center, 8 bottom left, and 7 left center. During slow fire, when you receive a shot on your target, you're going to pull the target down into the pit. Locate the shot on the target. Insert your three inch shot spotter into the bullet hole with the white side facing out if the shot is inside the black. The black side should be facing out if the shot is anywhere in the white. Identify the value of that shot and insert the value marker to correspond with the value of the shot and run the target back in the air. Once you run your target back in the air, if the shot was in the black, get a black paster on your finger. If the shot was in the white, get a white paster. When you receive the next shot on your target, pull the target back down into the pit, move your shot spotter to the new hole location, and move your value marker to correspond with the value for the new shot. Paste up the old shot with the corresponding black or white paster as needed, and run the target back in the air. Next, we're going to talk about rapid fire scoring procedures. On the command, targets up. All targets are run into the air and time starts. Competitors step back away from the target carrier until time has expired. When time expires, the chief pit officer will announce competitors to stand by their targets. On the command, targets down. All targets will be pulled into the pit. You will identify that you have the correct number of shots on your target. If you have the correct number of shots on your target, you will insert shot spotters into the target and record the value of those shots and then run the target in the air. Once all groups and scores have been received, you will pull the targets down into the pit, remove shot spotters, and paste up the old hits. Once that is done, run your target to half mast and await further instruction. As we wrap up, let's talk about a few safety points. Once you have entered the pit and firing starts, you may not exit the pit until instructed to do so. Eye and ear protection is strongly recommended. Take all commands from center line. This was Shooter's Corner. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.